Oh, oh, sorry guys, I didn't know it was recording. But, um, alright, so we're gonna... We're back on part three. This is getting to be a long tutorial. But this part three should be pretty short. So, we have all of our layers. You have it how you like it. You know, this is how you want it. Um, now we're going to add the actual background color. So we're going to make a new layer. We're going to put it, just drag it to the very bottom of this. But on top of this layer. Layer 0, the template. See that? This is the template. That's why it looks pretty bad. I'm actually going to hide this by clicking the eye right there because that's your remember how we took a snapshot of your background that's what that is now layer one I'm gonna rename this to background now we're gonna get the rectangle tool or the rounded rectangle tool doesn't really matter I'm just gonna use the rounded rectangle tool because I want to and then you're gonna drag that over the whole thing you actually might want to have it going off the canvas just so you know you have every part of it now I like to add a gradient overlay to this if you don't like gradient overlay you you know you can just keep it like that but I like gradient overlay so I'm going to put that that's a nice little I don't know what to call it Alright, we're gonna make this rainbow. Oh my god, no, that hurts my eyes. And then, okay, I'll do this, and then reverse. You can make that any color you want, though. It's not looking too good for me, but it will for you, once you customize it. Okay, now, we're going to add another, we're gonna make another new layer. This one's gonna go on top of the background. Yeah, right there. And we're gonna name this one Background 2. Alright, now uh, we're going to do the same thing except for this one's just going to be barely off all of the models. And wait, I actually like this one to be, um, to be on the canvas a little bit, just at the very top and the very bottom. You can have it however you like it, remember, be creative. Alright, now we're actually going to do uh, another gradient overlay and do reverse. No, wait, no, not reverse. I'm gonna make this one, make it anything you want. I'm gonna do, I don't know, none of these look good. I guess I'll just. Alright, what two colors go together? Let's go to purple and blue wait make it a little bit darker all right just be as creative as possible like I was on my other channel hide these effects okay now wait wait go back to blending options make like a make like bevel and emboss uh that kind of makes it 3d oh I realize I messed up saying that uh, I said gradient over the I meant bevel and emboss. Okay, but actually, sometimes I don't like that. Sometimes I just do stroke and drop shadow and, like, all of the glows and stuff. Except for the inner glow and the inner shadow. I don't like those. Alright, so, um, you can also make this a little bit transparent. Oops, too much. See, I'm actually going to do that. I think it might look pretty good. Alright, so now that's transparent. I'm gonna make this one. I'm gonna make that not white. I'll make it black. Alright, that looks kinda cool. <laughs> Obviously, yours is gonna be a lot better. So, file. Remember to save. Uh, save as. Don't do just. Don't do not just do regular save just do save as and then make sure this is set on Photoshop PSD PDD I'm gonna call it uh, comp tricks background name it whatever you want just make sure you know what it's called and where it's saved the preset saving is in my pictures 
um so save okay and now we save it as a PNG or JPEG I personally like J PNG for no apparent reason click OK click OK now we're gonna go back to your channel themes and colors S uh, show advanced options delete the background even though there is none and go to you know just find scroll down oh I meant to delete that alright so here it is comp tricks background make sure it's not this one with the photoshop logo it's this one alright here we go oh yeah and by the way you see how it doesn't really show you want to make everything transparent a hundred percent everything alright now here's your background it actually see that glow on the video player that's what we did see I'm, I might have to move mine a little bit to the right and you know just make everything how it looks best oh I might I have to move that one move the subscribers thing up alright now actually wait no that that's good this is all perfect because if you go if you save changes log into your other account it's gonna look a little bit different just a little bit which is a lot alright now we're gonna search up comp tricks alright now see um, you can make that the same color as the top bar so it doesn't show up as much if you need help doing that just let me know see everything is perfect I did a good job actually kind of um see now this is perfectly for your channel specifically not anybody else's so thanks for watching I really hope this helped uh, I did not copy anybody on this I came up with this by myself and I hope people can benefit out of it well thanks for watching if you have any questions be sure to comment or send me a message thanks Peace.